twisting the sweep. I can have a, a sweep and I can turn it or twist it as it goes along the path. Uh, and we can put any angle in there that we want. So the, the higher the number, the more twist we get. So it can spin completely around with 360 or you know, twice around with 720. Um, now here I have a profile. Um, but what I'm going to do, this was just drawn with some arcs. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to make a region out of this. So I'm going to go up here under the draw. I'm going to go to region. I select all those objects and I made a region. Now I'm going to go up to sweep. I'm going to select the object to the sweep, which is this region. I'll hit enter. I'm going to come down and choose the twist option. Now I'm going to put in a twisting angle of 270 degrees. So about three quarters of the way around and I'll hit enter. Now I pick the sweep path, which is this straight line. And notice now that I get, it spins around there. All right, so it gives me a drill-like type of effect. So this is a very common task of, of uh, twisting things. Uh, and a drill bit's a good example type thing. Um, but we do many of these types of these things occasionally. Uh, so twisting the sweep allows us to uh, give that thing a spin as, as much as we want. And uh, I'm going to go and undo that. Come back here. And now I'm going to actually do uh, is I'm going to make a copy here. And I'll put this over here and uh, we're going to do that again. I'm going to do a sweep and pick on this item. I'm going to pick uh, the twist. I'm going to do 270 and now I'm going to pick the sweep path. Boink. And now let's put and do this one again. I'm going to pick on the object the sweep. I'm going to pick on the twist angle and this time I'm going to do 720 and I'm going to pick on this sweep path and you can see it spins it around two complete times uh, in this case this time it was only three quarters of the way around so uh, you get an example of what twisting the sweep is like